In this video, I'm going to address a question from Scrambled You. He asks, or she asks, is there a way to add a sound across multiple slides? Uh, to answer that, I'll do a little video demo here for you, and you'll see how that can be done. The first thing you need, though, is some audio that's going to play across multiple slides, and one option that's available to you is the audio library underneath the Creator Studio on your YouTube channel um, if you happen to have one. If you don't, I highly recommend that you get one. If you plan to upload, let's say, a video demo, as I do almost every day, uh, to YouTube, there's uh, a whole bunch of audio recordings available to you, sound effects as well as music, that you can put in your YouTube videos or your Adobe Captivate project if you intend to upload it to YouTube, as I do. Um, so I'm just going to find a track that I think might be appropriate here. Uh, let's listen to this one. I think that works. Uh, I'm going to download a copy of that to my desktop, and we'll just do that right now. Kind of reminds me of Green Day, that track. It's kind of neat. And I'm just going to minimize my um, browser and return to um, Adobe Captivate here, where I have um, a basic three-page course. It's nothing fancy. I've just taken one of the built-in themes of Captivate 9 and put a bunch of different slides on here, added a Next button. In theory, I could have some narration over these slides, whether I record it myself or use the text-to-speech technology, entirely up to you. But to add background audio, or, or in this case, audio that spans across multiple slides, you need to uh, select the Audio drop-down menu and choose the Import To option. And importing, of course, is when you are importing a, a sound file from outside of Adobe Captivate. Recording would be using, let's say, your microphone and so on. So I'm going to import to, and I've got three choices. Um, I could import to an object that happens to be on this slide. I could select it and use that. I could import to just the slide itself, which we already know how to do. But in this case, I'm going to import it to the background. Now, the background is the entire project um, that spans all of the slides that you have. So we'll do that right now. And we'll select that. And this can take a little bit of time because, of course, it's not just importing a couple of seconds of audio. It's recording several minutes of audio. And again, this is going to get imported into um, the background audio, which is a separate location within your Adobe Captivate course. But we'll have an opportunity to edit it before we move forward. So just a couple seconds longer here. And there we are. So this brings us to the background audio window. Here is our audio track. You can play it just to test it out. Kind of loud. So one of the things that you can do is you can adjust that audio. And there's two ways of doing it. You can check off, if it's not already checked off, adjust background audio volume on slides where there's already audio, such as narration. And then you can adjust the percentage so maybe have it drop to 50% or something like that. I actually prefer to edit the entire track. The reason being is that I would rather have a consistent volume across the entire audio recording rather than have the audio raise and lower depending on whether there's narration. I think that would be a little more distracting. So how you do that is you select the Edit tab and then use the adjust volume. This is a little bit more familiar to anyone who's actually worked with audio in Adobe Captivate before. But if I adjust the volume, I can choose uh, the amount of decibels to lower it by, or dBs for short. And uh, the easiest way, I find starting off at about minus 5 dB is good for most recordings. But because, of course, all recordings are recorded at different volumes, you may have to do a little bit of trial and error to figure out the best level. So I'm going to click on OK, and that adjusts the entire recording. You can see it shrinks the waveform down. Now I just need to hit Save and Close. 
So let's preview this. Let's take a look at it in a browser and see how that looks. We'll just preview the project. It's only three slides. Shouldn't take too long. So as you can see, the audio is lowered on that background audio. And the true test as to whether this works or not is let's click the next button that I've put on this page so we we'll see if the audio continues to play. And it does. So we have that audio across multiple slides. One of the things you might be wondering is what if I don't want the audio on all the slides? Well, there's a solution for that as well. With, uh, with each of these uh, slides, of course, on the Properties panel, under the Options tab, there is the opportunity to stop background audio. So it's just a checkbox, and let's say, for example, you, you got to the end of your project and you wanted to give your learners a final assessment, a final quiz to test their knowledge. It might be kind of distracting to listen to punk rock music, so a good solution would be to check off stop background audio, and that would ensure that there's a silence on all of those slides. Guys, if you like the videos that I'm producing for you, I encourage you to subscribe to my channel, and if you thought this video was entertaining, fun, educational, helpful, go ahead and give me a thumbs up.